This is going to be a review of the Casio FX 300 ES Plus scientific calculator. So in stores and on Amazon you can expect to find this calculator for around $10. When I bought this at Target it was on sale so I only paid 8 but you should expect to find it almost anywhere for between 8 and $12. So I realized that you can turn this thing on and use it in the packaging before you've even taken it out. So for this review, I'm just going to keep it in the packaging so that I can return it once I'm done. Okay, I'm just joking. Let's open it up. Now, before I destroy this packaging, here is some of the information on the back. Pause the video if you want to take a longer look. Okay, so here it is. It's pretty thin, as you can see. Um, it comes with this slide-on case that fits over the front or the back. It sits nice and flat on the table here, um, but it doesn't have rubber feet, so it slides around pretty easily. But other than that, I'd say it's a pretty good looking calculator. It's designed obviously very similarly to Casio's newest budget graphing calculator, the FX 9750 Generation 3, but it does not have removable batteries and it's much thinner. So in terms of features, there is not much more than what you can see here on the keypad. And for this price range, that is pretty much to be expected. So in general, you're going to have your basic trig functions here, logs and log bases, templates for any type of root, and then down at the bottom they also give you buttons for permutations and combinations. But once again, everything you see on the keys here is pretty much it when it comes to the basic functions used in the main calculation screen. So a few things that are notably missing from this calculator are derivatives, integrals, and summations, and there's also not just a basic numeric solver. So anyways, this is what the main home calculation screen looks like. You can type any expression in here and you'll get your original expression on the left and then your answer on the right. And you can scroll back through to see any of your previous calculations and if you see one that you wanna edit again, you can just press this arrow right there and then it'll re-enter it and you can add whatever you want to that expression and then reevaluate. So in my opinion, one of the best things that this calculator has going for it is that you get fraction templates and square root templates and things like that. Almost anything you enter, it will give you the answer in exact simplified form. So this goes for fractions and any sort of square root. It will give you the simplest exact form of those expressions. And then also for common trig functions, here, for example, sine of pi over 3, it will give you the exact answer for expressions like that. And then, of course, if at any time you want your answer in decimal form, you can just press this button right here to toggle between the exact and decimal form answers. So a couple random features that are included here. First of all is this repeating decimal function here. If you press alpha and then square root, It'll bring up this template here with a little line above it, which is the repeating decimal symbol. So if I just type in 0.6 and then press the equal sign, it will give me that as a fraction. So if you do have a decimal that you got from somewhere else and you want to convert that to a fraction, as long as you have enough figures, um, you can press the decimal key and then bring up this template. And for example, 0.714285 is equivalent to 5 over 7, so it can make that type of conversion for you. And then also another sort of random feature is the ability to convert degrees to degrees minutes seconds. So if I have, for example, 52.36 degrees, and I want that in degrees minutes seconds, once you type it in, you can just press this button right here, and it will convert that to 52 degrees, 21 minutes, and 36 seconds. Also, for some reason, they decided to include the ability for you to convert from standard rectangular coordinates into polar coordinates. 1 comma 1 here is equivalent to r equals 1.414 and theta equals 0.78539. And when doing this, just keep in mind, like you can see here, you will not be getting exact answers for your 
r and theta values. They are given here in their decimal equivalents. And then also there is a function to convert back from polar coordinates into rectangular coordinates. So if you go up here and press this mode button, it will bring up the three modes that this calculator has. The first one is the regular computation screen, and then next there is stat and table. Um, the stat function can do things like linear regression. So for example, if I want to try and match data to an equation in the form a plus bx, um, I can press two and then enter data. For example, here I have six data points, and then you can press AC and then shift one for stat. And if you press five for reg, it will bring up this menu where you can see from your original fit equation that you selected, you can select A or B, and then also you can select the correlation coefficient R, which for our case is 0.999. B, which in our case would be the slope is 2.977 and then A is 0 0.213. But anyways, that's about it for this review. Hopefully you found this useful. In general, I'd say you get a pretty good amount of features on this calculator for the price. However, if you plan to be using a scientific calculator throughout high school or throughout college, I would definitely recommend coughing up the extra five or $10 to get yourself one that has a few more features. But if you just need these basic features that I went over in this video, I would say the FX 300 ES Plus is a pretty good way to go. Thanks for watching. You want to take a longer look. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs>